All right, guys, how are you? I wanted to do a quick little video for you today on a product review. I haven't done videos in a little while. It's been just super busy doing a bunch of different things and not a few new products that are coming out that I've been working on, um, Triton, some of those irrigation solutions and so on. I'll be doing some webinars on those soon. But uh, today I just wanted to share with you a little box that came in the mail yesterday. Uh, surprisingly, I just wasn't expecting it. It did come and it was just a little extra head that I was sent out to review and take a look at. So I wanted to do this short video with you uh, uh, to talk about this particular product because I do get a lot of products to test out and so on and this particular one uh, if I see one something that is interesting I would be uh, kind of reviewing it and sharing it with you which is a portable x-ray head uh, by a teeth company and uh, I uh, had a uh, chance to take a look at it it is a very nice product and it does fulfill its needs for x-ray production and a portable setting. Now, when would you need a portable setting for an x-ray head? If you are interested in sharing one x-ray unit across multiple operatories instead of having a separate unit in each operatory, that's one way. If you're doing mobile dentistry and you're around going to different places, it's great for endodontics as well because it's very quick and you can just pick it up, especially since you're shooting <clears throat> one x-ray at a time. And in patients that are gaggers, this way you don't have to put that in and wait and go outside the room and press the button. So it would be a much quicker way of taking the radiograph for these patients. You quickly place the x-ray, shoot it, and remove it. You don't have to leave the room. Which brings up the question of how safe are these types of uh, you know, products where you don't have to leave the room to take the radiograph. Now, these many of these products the original one the nomad is these are fda approved for use meaning that there is that safety and its efficacy has been kind of tested out by FDA standards and there is really no scatter back. There's no blowback of the radiation. So essentially these things shoot the radiation, the X radiation, almost like a laser beam so they go straight up, which is part of the reason why if you slightly miss the angle, you're gonna get a cone cut. So you don't have a spraying of the X-ray all in a wide angle. Uh, from the tip, it's columnated so it goes straight like a little circle through the area you're shooting. So it's really uh, not any kind of a safety issue in terms of radiation for the person shooting it, whether it's the doctor or the assistant. And frankly, even for the patient, the idea of using a lead apron is kind of an old school way of doing things. In my office, we do use a, a, the lead apron on the patients when we take the radiographs, but that's primarily because it takes longer to explain to them why they don't need it rather than just put it on and take the x-ray. Today's x-ray heads are so columnated and so focused that covering anything else is just essentially unnecessary. That x-ray where you're shooting from here is coming out of there like a little circle and it's not going uh, anywhere else. The little bit of radiation scattered that you may get from, uh, you know, from, from collision with the specific atoms and uh, molecules inside uh, the jawbone, that is, doesn't amount to much at all, especially today with the digital sensors and the amount of radiation needed to create an image. It's, it's really, really uh, negligible. So safety-wise, I don't have a problem. I would be taking these radiographs myself, chair side, so clearly I don't want to get uh, have, have any problems, and, but I've done my research on this uh, area and I'll feel completely comfortable and safe taking the image. Now, in terms of uh, the quality of the image that you get, it's just, just an x-ray uh, production head, which, and the advantage of this particular unit from what I gather, it's a nice slick little uh, unit. It's very uh, streamlined, uh, looks and design is very nice. But most importantly, when it comes to these devices, it's the weight that matters, because whether it's you or the assistant that's doing it, after taking a few x-rays, it could get pretty heavy on the hand. So you would be benefiting from having lighter and lighter uh, x-ray head production heads. And this particular unit is seemed to be much lighter than the original Nomad that I've had experience with and I've used, which is much, much heavier. So the images that I got out of it in my little test were acceptable and perfectly equivalent to the x-ray head that I have on the wall, which is a very nice one as well. But uh, that's just all I want to share with you because it's a very simple unit and if you're interested in one, it's available. I don't think it's available in North America yet, but uh, for the rest of the world, this is available. Anyway, so I just wanted to share this quick little video with you on this uh, particular product and I will have much more videos for you out there. It's just been super busy with doing so many different things nowadays, uh, managing the office, teaching a verbal dendo as 
as well as teaching at the school. It seems like I have now three almost full-time jobs trying to manage all of these things and then running everything else. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to hear any of my uh, problems, but I hope whatever you are, you're doing well and are staying healthy, seeing patients and treating patients and enjoying it. Till the next video, for We Will Then Know, I'm Ali Nese, and let's save some teeth. Thank you.